Institutional Framework for Export Promotion Countries need cutting-edge export strategies so that national stakeholders can take advantage of emerging trade opportunities. To contribute to this process, the national strategy is a tool which aims to match national products with international market potential, assess supply potential and constraints, and map out steps to put products into markets. The dynamism in India's exports during the third plan period is attributable to the increase in the production base, both agricultural and industrial, and the generally favorable climate of international trade. In addition to these factors, a significant role was played by institutional, fiscal, and other measures adopted as a part of a deliberate and conscious policy to promote exports. Institutions engaged in export effort fall in six distinct tiers. At the top is the Department of Commerce of Ministry of Commerce. This is the main organization to formulate and guide India's trade policy. The present institutional framework for export promotion is sound and has contributed to the development of exports. It may, however, be necessary to strengthen from time to time certain constituent elements of the structure as the need may arise. In particular, it is visualized that the public sector will play an increasing role in export trade. Moreover, since there has been a substantial expansion of the public sector in the industrial fields, notably metallurgy, engineering and chemicals, it is expected that exports from public sector enterprises will increase progressively. In this lesson, we will discuss about the institutional framework established to ensure export promotion in India. It follows from the previous slide that after studying this lesson, you should be able to describe the institutional framework for export promotion in India, understand the role of various organizations engaged in export promotion. Let us discuss now about a few departments concerned with export promotion. The Department of Commerce is the primary government agency responsible for evolving and directing foreign trade policy and programs, including commercial relations with other countries. The Federation of Indian Export Organization is the apex body for all Indian export promotion organizations. FIEO works as a partner of the Government of India to promote Indian exports. Its membership comprises of government-recognized export houses, trading houses, star trading houses, and superstar trading houses, and consultancy exporting firms, dealing in a wide spectrum of products. The Board of Trade has been set up to ensure that the collective advice of the commercial interests is available to the Government of India for framing and formulating export promotion and import policies and for successful implementation thereof. The Board of Trade is the highest forum for government industry interface on trade policy issues. There are at present 11 export promotion councils under the administrative control of the Department of Commerce and 9 export promotion councils related to textile sector under the administrative control of Ministry of Textiles. These councils are registered as non-profit organizations under the Companies Act or Societies Registration Act. The Export Promotion Councils perform both advisory and executive functions. Export Promotion Council is continuously striving to elevate India's position in the international trading arena of the electronics, IT and computer software and services. Then there are Electronics and Computer Software Export Promotion Council, Apparel Export Promotion Council, Basic Chemicals, Pharmaceuticals and Cosmetics Export Promotion Council, Carpet Export Promotion Council, and so on. There are five statutory commodity boards under the Department of Commerce. These boards are responsible for production, development and export of tea, coffee, rubber, spices and tobacco. The Indian Institute of Foreign Trade IIFT was set up in 1963 by the Government of India as an autonomous organization to help professionals 
of the country's foreign trade management and increase exports by developing human resources, generating, analyzing and disseminating data and conducting re research. It is the primary provider of training and research-based consultancy in the areas of international business, both for the corporate sector, government and the students' community. The Institute visualizes its future role as a catalyst for new ideas, concepts and skills for the internationalization of the Indian economy. The primary provider of training and research-based consultancy in the areas of international business both for the corporate sector, government and the students community. An institution with proven capability to continuously upgrade its knowledge base with a view to servicing the requirements of the government, trade and industry through both sponsored and non-sponsored research and consultancy assignments. The Indian Institute of Packaging was incorporated as a society under the Society's Registration Act 1860 on 14th May 1966, the Institute has its head office and principal laboratories at Mumbai and regional testing and development laboratories at Kolkata, New Delhi and Chennai. To stimulate consciousness of good packaging, to undertake and promote study, research and development in packaging and package design, to recommend standards for packages, packaging materials, processes and equipment to test, evaluate and certify packages, packaging systems, packaging materials, equipment and processes to provide consultancy services on packaging problems to study packaging for export commodity wise and country wise and suggest measures to authorities concerned for affecting improvements to provide short-term and long-term training in packaging technology for specified personnel employed in industry, commerce and government, to promote and stimulate action in universities and colleges, to provide education in packaging technology, to analyze the implication of a sound policy on packaging on domestic production, domestic consumption and domestic prices to study methods and procedures of incentives appropriate for development of packaging, to analyze the institutional framework most conducive to the promotion of packaging, to study the packaging requirements with special reference to transport by road, water, rail and air, to study the impact of packaging on marketing, to undertake advertising, publicity and exhibition to promote packaging consciousness. To establish relation and cooperate with any other agency or organization having similar objectives in India and abroad. To provide and disseminate information relating to packaging. To prepare, print and publish any paper or periodical or report to establish and maintain libraries and information services to facilitate the study of the various objects for which the society is established, to constitute regional institutes at convenient places in India and outside to promote the objects of the society, to invite representatives of government, industry, trade and other institutions and organizations, Indian and foreign, to deliver lectures on the subjects in which the society is interested. Established in 1963, MMTC, one of the two highest foreign exchange earners for India, is a leading international trading company with a turnover of over US dollar 5 billion. It is the largest international trading company of India and the first public sector enterprise to be accorded the status of five star export house by Government of India for long-standing contribution to exports. MMTC is the largest non-oil importer in India. MMTC's diverse trade activities encompass third country trade, joint ventures, link deals, all modern day tools of international trading. The main objectives of MMTC are 
To be a leading international trading house in India operating in the competitive global trading environment with focus on bulk as core competency and to improve returns on capital employed. To retain the position of the single largest trader in the country for product lines like minerals, metals and precious metals. To promote development of trade related infrastructure. To provide support services to the medium and small scale sectors. To render high quality of service to all categories of customers with professionalism and efficiency. To streamline system within the company for settlement of commercial disputes. To upgrade employee skills for achieving higher productivity. The State Trading Corporation of India Limited, STC, a government of India company, is one of the premier international trading organizations of the country. Set up in 1956, STC plays an important role in India's foreign trade, both exports and imports. The State Trading Corporation of India Limited is a premier international trading house owned by the government of India. Having been set up in 1956, the corporation has developed vast expertise in handling bulk international trade. Though dealing largely with the East European countries during the early years of its formation, today it trades with almost all the countries of the world. By virtue of infrastructure and experience possessed by the corporation, it plays an important role in arranging import of essential items into India and developing exports of a large number of items from India. It exports a large number of items ranging from agricultural commodities to manufactured products from India to all parts of the world. Because of corporations in-depth knowledge about the Indian market, STC is able to supply quality products at most competitive prices and ensure that the goods reach the foreign buyer within the prescribed delivery schedule. It also imports bulk commodities for Indian consumer as per demand in the domestic market. The even full track record of more than 52 years has helped STC to gear itself to face the fierce competitive challenges, seize business initiatives and build on its core competencies. Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India Limited was established in the year 1957 by the Government of India to strengthen the export promotion drive by covering the risk of exporting on credit. Being essentially an export promotion organization, it functions under the administrative control of the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Department of Commerce, Government of India. It is managed by a board of directors comprising representatives of the government, Reserve Bank of India, Banking, Insurance and Exporting Community. ECGC is the fifth largest credit insurer of the world in terms of coverage of national exports. The present paid up capital of the company is rupees 800 crores and authorized capital is rupees 1000 crores. Functions of ECGC are Provides a range of credit risk insurance covers to exporters against loss in export of goods and services. Offers guarantees to banks and financial institutions to enable exporters to obtain better facilities from them. Provides overseas investment insurance to Indian companies investing in joint ventures abroad in the form of equity or loan. Export Import Bank of India is the premier export finance institution of the country set up in 1982 under the Export Import Bank of India Act 1981. Government of India launched the institution with the mandate not just to enhance exports from India but to integrate the country's foreign trade and investment with the overall economic growth. Exim Bank of India has been the prime mover in encouraging project exports from India. The bank extends lines of credits to overseas financial institutions, foreign governments and their agencies, enabling them to finance import of goods and services from India on deferred credit terms. Exim Bank's lines of credit obviate credit risks for Indian exporters and our particular relevance to SME exporters.
The bank's overseas investment finance program offers a variety of facilities for Indian investments and acquisitions overseas. The facilities include loan to Indian companies for equity participation in overseas ventures, direct equity participation by Exim Bank in the overseas venture and non-funded facilities such as letters of credit and guarantees to facilitate local borrowings by the overseas venture. The bank provides financial assistance by the way of term loans in Indian rupees or foreign currencies for setting up new production facility, expansion or modernization or upgradation of existing facilities and for acquisition of production equipment or technology. Such facilities particularly help export-oriented small and medium enterprises for creation of export capabilities and enhancement of international competitiveness. Under its Export Marketing Finance Program, Exim Bank supports small and medium enterprises in their export marketing efforts, including financing the soft expenditure related to implementation of strategic and systematic export market development plans. Finance and services include export credits, pre-shipment credit, suppliers credit for project exporters, for exporters of consultancy and technological services, guarantee facilities and rediscounting facility to commercial banks. The Export Inspection Council or EIC was set up by the Government of India under Section 3 of the Export Act 1963 in order to ensure sound development of export trade of India through quality control and inspection and for matters connected thereof. EIC is an advisory body to the central government which is empowered under the Act to notify commodities which will be subject to quality control and or inspection prior to export establish standards of quality for such notified commodities, specify the type of quality control and or inspection to be applied to such commodities. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. STC stands for State Trading Corporation. Right or wrong? Right. MMTC stands for Minerals and Metal Trading Corporation. Right or wrong? Wrong. FIEO stands for Federation of International Export Organizations. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. The institutional framework for promoting exports was broadened and strengthened through the setting up of the Board of Trade, Export Promotion Councils and the Minerals and Metals Trading Corporation. The Department of Commerce is the primary government agency responsible for evolving and directing foreign trade policy and programs, including commercial relations with other countries. The Federation of Indian Export Organizations represents the Indian entrepreneurs spirit of enterprise in the global market. Known popularly as FIO, this apex body of Indian export promotion organizations was set up jointly by the Ministry of Commerce, Government of India and Private Trade and Industry in the year 1965. FIO is thus a partner of the Government of India in promoting India's exports. There are at present 11 export promotion councils under the administrative control of the Department of Commerce and nine export promotion councils related to textiles sector under the administrative control of Ministry of Textiles. These councils are registered as non-profit organizations under the Companies Act or Societies Registration Act. There are five statutory commodity boards under the Department of Commerce. These boards are responsible for production, development and export of tea, coffee, rubber, spices and tobacco. Established in 1963, MMTC is today India's leading international trading company with a turnover of over US dollar 1 billion. It is the first international trading company of India to be given the coveted status Superstar Trading House and it is the first public sector enterprise to be accorded the status of Golden Superstar Trading House, 
for long-standing contribution to exports. The State Trading Corporation of India Limited, STC, a government of India company, is one of the premier international trading organizations of the country. Set up in 1956, STC plays an important role in India's foreign trade, both exports and imports. 